أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين بارئ الخلائق أجمعين والصلاة والسلام على خير خلقه محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Imagine if the tragedy of Imam Hussein alayhi salam occurred and no one knew about it. Imagine if Imam Hussein and his companions were slaughtered in the land of Karbala by the army of Yazid and there were absolutely no survivors, not Sayyidah Zainab, not the woman, not the children, and no one had a clue what happened in Karbala. How would we know what happened? How would we know what happened on Ashura? Who would have told us? Who would have been inspired? The significant event, the event of Ashura, that has inspired millions of Muslims and non-Muslims. It's inspired so many. Imagine if we didn't know about it, who would have been inspired? Imagine if the revolutions that took place after Ashura hadn't taken place because they didn't know about Ashura because no one had heard of Imam Hussein. Can you imagine life without Ashura and without Imam Hussein alayhi salam? That would have happened. It was very much possible for us not to have heard of Imam Hussein and the tragedy of Ashura if it wasn't for his sister Zainab salam. It was Zainab that delivered the message of Imam Hussein. It was Zainab salam that spread the voice. She was the voice of Imam Hussein. She took the voice of Imam Hussein to Kufa, to Damascus, to Medina. It was because of Sayyidah Zainab that the world knew about Imam Hussein. That's why the role of Sayyidah Zainab is extremely important in the revolution of Ashura and in the revolution of Imam Hussein. If it wasn't for her, the message would have died. It would have died on that day, on that land, that evening. The message of Imam Hussein would have died with him. It was Sayyidah Zainab that delivered the message. She was the media. She was the media force behind the revolution of Imam Hussein and the tragedy of Karbala. Media is extremely important, my dear brothers and sisters. Look at the power of media today. Look at the state of Muslims today. Why do people fear Muslims and Islam wherever you go? Today in America, in Europe, in Canada and other places, people are afraid of Islam and Muslims. Why? Because the way Muslims are being portrayed in the media is a negative way. There's a, a group of people that have a, an agenda, that have a political agenda. They portray Muslims in a terrorist, evil kind of manner. And the masses, they buy this, this portrait of Muslims, this image of Muslims. That is why we see bias against Muslims in Europe, in America, and other places. People are afraid of Islam. People are afraid of Muslims. The main reason is the power of media. If Muslims had good representation in the media, none of this would have happened. A couple of months ago in the United States of America, three young people were killed in the city of Chapel Hill in North Carolina. Why? These three people were innocent. They were good civilians. They were good human beings. The only reason why they were killed is because their neighbor had a bad image of Islam and a bad image of Muslims. He had bigotry and prejudice against Muslims. Would this have happened if we had better media? Would this have happened if we had satellite channels, if we had journalists, if we had authors, if we had people in the media as much as we have people becoming doctors and lawyers and engineers, Muslims that are becoming lawyers and doctors and engineers, if we concentrated on the media and journalism, 
wouldn't the state of Islam be a lot better and the image of Muslims be a lot more advanced? Let's look at others. Let's look at other nations and other groups and other political groups and lobbyists. Look at how they receive whatever they want from any country they want. They're protected by Western powers. Why? Because they have the power of media. In the United States of America, there, is a, there, is, there are several Zionists, Zionist journalists and authors in almost all of the major newspapers and channels. They get what they want. Their cause is made. People know their opinion in, a, in an elaborate, in an effective, influential manner. But do we Muslims have journalists and authors? Do we have channels? Yes, we do have channels. But unfortunately, our channels are not supported. This special channel, satellite channel that is dedicated in the name of Imam Hussein a.s. Imam Hussein English TV. One of the only English channels in the world that speaks in the name of Ahl al-Bayt This is a channel that has been serving the Muslim community for several years now in a dedicated manner from the holy city of Karbala, from the shrines of Imam Hussein salam and Abil Fadl al-Abbas. It is delivering the same message that Sayyidah Zainab started on the day of Ashura. It's the same path. It's the media force behind Imam Hussein it's, the, it's delivering the message of Imam Hussein that started 14 centuries ago. I know many communities in the West and other places that benefit from this, from the satellite channel. I've been to many homes in Europe and in the United States of America where they do not have local centers. They do not have local Husseiniyya. Their only Husseiniyya is Imam Hussein TV. Their only majlis is from Imam Hussein TV, whether it's in Arabic or Farsi or English. The only media of seeing Imam Hussein's shrine and hearing the adhan and seeing the spirituality from inside of Karbala is through Imam Hussein TV. Now my dear friends, the satellite channel is in danger. Financially it's in danger of coming off the air. And this is a shame my dear friends. After several years of serving the community, now this channel is, uh, is being endangered and might face coming off air. This is very shameful. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon our communities with lots of wealth. We are wealthy communities. We have wealthy members in our communities. We have many that are well-to-do. And many of them are very generous, alhamdulillah. They've, they've given, they've supported in the past religious projects, humanitarian projects. I know many people that in the name of Imam Hussein, for the sake of Imam Hussein, they give a lot of their wealth, much of, wealth, much of their wealth, as long as it's in the name of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And today we come in front of you and we beseech you in the name of Imam Hussein alayhi salam that if you'd like to keep this channel alive, if you feel that this channel is serving the cause of Imam Hussein from the land of Imam Hussein, delivering the name of Imam Hussein in three channels to seven continents, if you feel that it is serving Imam Hussein, and if you wish to make Imam Hussein happy, then don't just sit there and say, well, it's very bad that they're going off air. Do something about this. However much you can help, however much you can help and donate, then support this channel. Keep this channel alive. Keep this name alive. Look at our, in, look at our enemies. Look at Wahhabis. Every day they have a new channel. And they have the most professional channels. 
that work 24 hours a day. Their funding is non-stop. They are generous. And our communities are not generous? No. I don't believe this. I believe that we are more generous. The Ahl al-Bayt have taught us generosity. We have to support our projects more than they support their own projects. The truth is with us, not with them. So let's defend it. For those that can't come and start their own projects, you can't start your own satellite channel. There is a satellite channel that needs your support, that needs your help. Come up front and help. And know that Imam Hussein, you're supporting the name of Imam Hussein, and Imam Hussein will be recording your name, inshallah. And you will be counted as those who support the cause of Imam Hussein. May Allah bless you all from the land of Karbala. And we will remember you in our du'as here under the dome of Imam Hussein. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم وأخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطاهرين